Yeah. Get your wallet out. Not a betting man. We're side betting. I am a betting man, but uh, I don't know. It's really hard to tell. I think hockey being in winter is you know a pretty distinct, pretty distinct advantage. But uh, I don't know. I I think Austin is the pr is the proven player, and if if Austin can kind of find his footing in this matchup, then I think yeah, it, can, it'll, it might be tough for hockey to win. Mm -hmm. But I could definitely see hockey winning, but I think. Definitely in Austin's favor. I've seen him make a lot of, you know, lost and winners finals and then just yeah, that's rage the comes back. Yeah, that's the scary thing about fighting, uh, or putting Austin into losers is that you're going to see him again. Yeah. Like, there's no way he's going out without, right, now without you, seeing you. Now again. you've just angered him. Yeah, now you've just put him into angry mode. It's a lot easier to just beat him from losers. <laughs> but we'll see. I, I definitely can't see a world where hockey wins. Like, if uh, Austin doesn't make the right adaptations, oh, but yeah, that's uh, <laughs> yeah, that is uh, a, a classic for Austin. Mm -hmm. Setting up the trap, yeah. getting you to try to bait you. He just he just does it in such a way that it's like, no nah, man, you can land. Your nair's gonna beat my PK Thunder. Just yeah, nair yeah, right in here. Just nair right into the tail. Get hit by PK Thunder, and then just get hit by yeah. the second part too. But uh, hockey definitely not out of, the, out of this. Austin basically like kill percent. Link an extremely heavy hitting character. Who mm. goes to the bank? I saw that uh, off the backboard. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> alley oop. Oh, up tilt connecting, but not gonna be caught enough to kill. And yeah, I think hockey. Uh, he's kind of wisened up. Wow, that was really interesting. Uh, the what's it called? The boomerang bouncing off the hitbox of, of sign magnet. Yeah, it's very strange because that hitbox. It's not like a. Yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't last box. very long. You have to get a pretty, pretty good timing. But yeah, Austin, pretty good player. So I, I'm not surprised he's able to manage something like that. But uh, cross up down air, trying to punch the lane with PK fire, but not quite working out. Yeah. Oh, oh. that parry that uh, gave him a lot <laughs> of frame advantage. Yeah, unintentional, but you know you can pretty easily re react to when you get one of those weirdo parries. Mm -hmm. Oh, goes for the bomb recovery, but or maybe still, it was still just making a it bait. back. Yeah, maybe it was a bait. Who knows? Uh, it. D definitely didn't work. Who catches him out of the air with a forward air in yeah. hockey? And that's that's Up what we saw in, in the in the last set was hockey catching Austin's jumps with those fares and just taking him out at extremely early percents. Austin does does like to jump. He's a player that really likes. Yeah, to be in the air. Ness is like a very floaty character that can do some tricky stuff in the air with side magnet. But All right, if no you learn jump. how to punish that, no jump. Oh and my yeah, god! Really smart. Zero to death. Just throws him off. Yo yo. Stomps on his head. Yeah, that's that's something that I think Austin has developed pretty recently. Is that uh, you know, level one, he just starts yoing at the ledge, and it works a lot. And then, but then people learn to upbeat early. Level two, he learns how to, you know, punish the upbeat early and uh, kind of bait people into it. Yeah, so he's really good at kind of navigating the mix-ups of oh, well, is he going to charge yo-yo or do I need to preemptively go around the yo-yo charge? And he's really he's always one step ahead uh, in that situation. Yeah, really great stuff, and it is a pretty true mix-up because Yo-Yo, it's extremely strong and also it doesn't have much lag. You can get your shield out or you can like get out another option pretty fast after already committing to Yo-Yo. Mm -hmm. And wow, this is a uh, this is hockey's counter pick. Honestly, I've been I've been thinking we've had some pretty uh, unconventional counter picks from hockey. This is one of Austin's favorite stages, but maybe it'll work out for him. It happened uh, in the previous set. Oh, he almost sniped oh, it. Almost snipes the PK Thunder or even Ness himself with the, uh, with the boomerang. Oh. But yeah. <laughs> oh, there. He, 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 he got the nair there. That was really risky. It was awesome. Yeah. Potentially could have spaced out a little differently and just gotten the PK Thunder too. Yeah. Something crazy about fighting Austin is that, like, you can get hit off stage once and be like, oh, I'm, like, about to die. <laughs> it's very scary. His advantage state is pretty oppressive. And... Wow, great. Side magnet into drag down, up air into grab. That was definitely all true, and that's just a really cool combo from Austin. Yeah, that very clean string right there. Yeah. No, he didn't get the last hits and of any of those up airs. Yeah, and I think we might be kind of seeing why Austin likes to stage so much, is that uh, Ness is just very good har at harassing people that are kind of trying to s chill out on these platforms with up air and with, uh, and with fair as well. Okay, good job avoiding the PK Thunder Trap. Yeah. Got Austin cornered. Oh, Austin is just like barely inching his way back. It's really tough for hockey when he's trying to get that momentum and he just can't close it out. And Austin's just not falling for anything. Yeah. Uh, something about Link. 
can be hard to find the kill sometimes. Yes, he, he, he has some good committal kill options, but Ooh, oh, just in time to avoid the invincibility of the PK Thunder two. Yeah, it's the explosion very well timed. Yeah, and Austin, Austin missing the tech. Maybe wasn't quite ready for it. Got yeah, it really doesn't. Fast. It has like no hit lag. The bomb. Yeah, yeah, that's something so. really strange, honestly. And so I'm, you I'm not real, surprised. Yeah, it's yeah. tough. You can't really just react to it like you normally can in that yeah. sort of situation. And uh, Link can kind of choose to mix up his timing with the bomb as well. Oh, Ooh. great bomb recovery. Uh, kind of saw that Austin was committing to the PK flash, but great timing there. He knew exactly how many pummels he could get before the boomerang came back. Yeah, making good use of the use of the uh, grabbing its ability in mm -hmm. order to to make sure his his back there goes through. Mm -hmm. That was yeah, that's hockey just that's, got too greedy there. Yeah, that's that's kind just of it. Feels like you know, obviously Austin was reaching there. You know, yeah, that was very uh, you know very ambitious play. Yeah. So hockey's like, oh man, he's just going for stuff. I got to forward smash him, but no, you can't just forward smash him. Yeah, that you is gotta something. Take your take your little punish. Yeah, that is something like very Smash Ultimate like is that. A lot of these moves just don't have lag. <laughs> and you kind of need to learn that even when it's your turn and you're in frame advantage, yeah, you can't, it's you like can't it's get not, It's not that much your Yeah, turn. yeah, you can't get that huge punish. Like, you kind of just have to take stage control or, or, or you know, maybe get, get a better position on your opponent's shield. But miss, miss spacing there, and Austin goes up 2-0. Yeah. And this is kind of... This, the steam train is getting going. Yeah. What Building we alluded up that momentum. <laughs> yeah. What it's, we alluded to just... Yeah. The way, like, if Austin kind of finds his momentum, like, See, it's pretty hard to say that hockey's going to win this, honestly. Yeah, no, it's tough. You really got to. This is really just kind of a testament to uh, Austin's, like, mental fortitude is how good he is in these situations. And yeah. this can be, like, a real test of your metal is yeah. how well you can do in a situation where, you know, somebody's steamrolling you. Yeah, because... The funny thing is, like, factually, Hockey's actually in advantage right now. He, he, you know, he still has this set to work with, and he has another whole set uh, where he has a chance to win. Yeah, but, but it really does not feel like that. Yeah, it definitely does not feel like that. But if he can, you know, stay out of his own head or stay smart, he can definitely still win this. We saw from that first set that he has what it takes to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Austin. Ooh. Uh, getting kind of gimped by the, uh, the tail hit of PK Thunder. And yeah, Austin just kind of set that tail up like a roof. To where yeah. Link needed to go up, but uh, couldn't. Yeah. Really good spacing there from Austin. Yeah, Austin's been playing this character for longer than I've been alive, likely. Uh, and it's, it's showing with his mastery. Really interesting use. I, I was surprised he went for back throw at such low percent. Because, like, while it has extremely high knockback growth at zero, it kind of... Like, put, he was, put your he opponent was, in a yeah, bad spot. Yeah, he was trying to set up for a PK Thunder because it sends sends him so close. Yeah, it does true. still give give you a lot of frame advantage. You kind of PK Thunder, and then they're like, "Oh, he's so close, I'm gonna hit him." Yeah, and then it baits you. So that that's what that's what he was going for there. I know because I play I've played Austin for years, and he's gotten me with that exact trick. Oh, really? <laughs> in a bunch of different games. <laughs> that's funny. Yeah. Tries to pick up the blue pumpkin. Not quite. Hands off my pumpkin, he says. And great spot dodge up smash. Uh, really explosive option from Link. Frame 7, just kill move that he can use. And yeah, just a very good get off me sort of deal. Yeah, very, risky, very committal, but, but yeah. when it works, it, it just kills him for basically for free. And this is a weird song that we're listening to. <laughs> <laughs> kind of crazy, like circus music. It's but, little, like Looney Tunes. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Yeah, it feels like Looney Tunes a little. Just both cut players kind of jumping around, not r a real hit being landed yeah. until Hockey that had, one comes. Had there. a lot of pressure there on the shield, but he was getting a little bit too greedy. Uh, yeah. And Austin just gets it back here. Yeah, he Austin was working with the tiddly wink, but now it's a lot larger. Oh, Is great parry! Tiddly wink. Yes, yeah, the tiddly wink. The the, oh. che the checker piece. <laughs> Two frames in with the bomb. That means no jump. Does it oh again. my goodness! Great, great stuff from Hockey. Will he get it again? But no, the air dodge to the ledge is just gonna be a little too fast. Hockey not, not quite ready to punch it. Hockey's been doing a pretty good job of falling out of combos with the air because Austin is, you know, trying to wait for him to get scared in air dodge, so he can, uh, you know, wait out and do an up air into some more stuff. But yeah. Hockey's been resolute. Just trying to. He's been nearing out. All right, yeah. got him down to last stock. This could be a, a momentum turning point. Wow, hockey, uh, hockey um, 
messed up his Z-drops and then got punished for it <laughs> when he was kind of just messing around between stocks. <laughs> a little bit of a flub there. Yeah. Not a not a good feeling. Yeah. When you're trying to swag between stocks and you actually get punished. And oh, bad yeah. DI on that. Wrong DI. Mm -hmm. It can be hard to DI that sometimes just because yeah, it's, 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 it's a kill a move that comes out so quickly. And yeah, you, it's a, it's you a never poke. You never plan to get hit by back air. <laughs> Yeah, so Austin takes it 3-0. Hockey, we, we kind of saw the the beginnings yeah. of a comeback at the end of that game. Yeah. Um, that is, you know, while it is a 3-0, he's in a better place than he could be right now. With yeah, he didn't get, off, like, swagged on in the last yeah. game. That was a pretty close last game. Coming so we'll off a really close can, game is really nice. And honestly, yeah. sometimes I can understand, like, before the reset, if you take too many games, like, before the reset, and your opponent's already up 2-0, you kind of feel dumb sometimes. You're like, well, I, if I got those games in the second set, set then I would be, I would have won. But yeah, I mean, a lot of times, you know, what you'll do yeah. is just like you'll try to take it in the second set. Yeah, it's flawed logic, honest, like factually it's flawed logic, but it feels a lot better sometimes. Yeah. Well, I mean, there's the the argument of uh, effort. You know. Yeah. Using your own energy, it's like, well, I'm gonna, I'd rather just save my energy and try to win in the second set. Yeah, it's, it's a mental game as well as like kind of a, a database game. So. Mm. It goes both ways. Hockey's got him trapped. Yeah, Austin. Oh, reaches a little bit too far there. Doesn't quite get the kill. Yeah. Oh, oh my great goodness. call on the roll in. <laughs> call out on the roll in, yeah. Let's see how he lands. And the air dodge down has very little lag. It's tough to punish. Baits Ooh. out the down B and just give him that the slow Marth F smash. Yeah, it's safe on shield, unlike Marth F smash. It's pretty crazy. Uh, not at point blank, but if you space it at least like decently, it's very hard to punish. Yeah, and it's got a big, big hitbox throughout. Yeah. So really, it's not like Mars F Smash other than the motion. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's a little more active, but also a lot slower. Yeah. But uh, yeah, Austin closing out that stock and already evening out the percents. You see, hockey's just jumping in with these nares. You know, a lot of players will just get punished consistently by that. Uh, doing it against Austin, but you know, hockey's just got really good spacing, and he's yeah. Oh, oh, picks really? Picks him up with a PK Thunder, and that, that was just in a bad spot. Yeah, he uses his jump out of the the hit stun, but just trying not to get stage back or something, but gets punished for it big a, time. Yeah, he didn't have a jump there, so yeah, that is that is something about uh, Ness in this game is his aerial uh, drift is so high, and his Directional air dodge is so good that he has two up these and a jump. Yeah, I mean, that's, like basi that's basically the mix-up. You know, when you have him without a double jump, if he's close enough, he has only those two options, PK Thunder or air dodge, but you can't oh. really uh, – you have to commit to one. You can't, like, cover them both. Generally well, I, want, I wanted to commend Hockey for his edge guard, but kind of lets him back on stage with a bomb, but not, not without kind of just taking a stock really quickly. So He picked it up. Picked it back yeah. up. He's back. But – with a huge deficit, but we've seen how swingy these games could be. This is not going to kill yet. Link is very heavy. But See, oh. there, there's that Nair. Yeah. He's got really good timing, and he's making sure Austin's not ready for it. Yeah, I think Austin is expecting a lot of air dodges, from, uh, and that back is going to kill. Yeah, he, he's expecting Hockey to be scared in air dodge, and Hockey's just, Hockey's, you know, he's got that, that courage to swing. Yeah, to stick out that little old leg. Mm -hmm. But... Austin taking game one, but not without a lot of resistance. Uh, hockey definitely going to be, you know, he knows he's in this. He knows he's three games away from, from winning Rushdown. Mm -hmm. He taking knows he's over Austin. That's he a big knows deal. he's, yeah, he knows he's beaten Austin in a best of five earlier today. Mm -hmm. so, so he knows he knows it's possible. Yeah, so I, I'm sure I'm sure this will be an exciting next few games. Hockey has just not really avoided these PK fires. I think he's too he's too worried about getting trapped after he avoids the PK fire with like a jump or an air dodge. Yeah, I think off stage he, he may be choosing um, the same option a few times and may, maybe Austin's catching on to it. Mm -hmm. All right, well, Hockey's got the lead now. Oh, man, just waits for that bomb to drop. He knew Ness didn't have a double jump. Yeah, great awareness from, from uh, Hockey. Which is the jump. Got him trapped at the ledge. I have not seen that, that uh, ledge attack before, but just great awareness from uh, Hockey. He hasn't used it yet. 
Back throw off the ledge, gonna tack on some damage or attempt to, but Hockey gets in a great position with the bomb. Yeah, that's something uh, to be. Oh, oh see, he just lets it drop. Oh, uh, goes for the uppy. I don't think that would have worked, honestly, even if he timed it properly. I feel like what you. What he should have done is go for the uh, just the intentionally getting hit to have that B distance. Because even if you trade, he's at 45. Yeah, that's yeah. A great, that's a great trade there. Yeah, just jumping into him and sacrificing yeah, just, your stock. And then something, it, you know, maybe you tech it and live anyways, and that's that's backbreaking. But, yeah. but he's but doing great right now, catches him out of the air with the yeah. forward air. That is something that I saw a lot when he had, like, huge momentum in, in the last set is that he was actually catching Austin with his fares off stage a lot, like sub 100 and just mm -hmm. slaying yeah, him. Yeah, he just gets that read on Austin. Austin's movement in the air. Yeah. And just calls him out. Yeah, and I mean Link's Fair is one of the best things in the game to to call that out with an aerial smash attack pretty much. Mm -hmm. Lots of active frames. Very strong. Yeah. And hockey's just been controlling this game. Down air oh, gets messed up by the boomerang. Yeah, the wingman coming in clutch. Once oh, again. That was too greedy on the pommel. Yeah, the wingman. Yeah. It's got his back. <laughs> yeah, it's got <laughs> it always comes back. Oh, that setup. I thought that would have been sick. Yeah. Austin not quite drifting into it, but... Oh, man. Hockey, Hockey like, took that. It was like two minutes. Yeah, like... That was a fast game. Building up to percent, and I think something great about Hockey's play is he's very aware of Austin's percent. Like, once Austin gets over 100, he just starts swinging with those F-tilts, and it's really safe, and it's a, a great thing to do. Because you get the read, they die. You don't... Uh, not that much is going to happen to you. Let's see uh, Austin's counter pick. I think Austin might be a little surprised that Hockey's counter picks. Um, he's yeah, kind of been picking Austin's the same stage. Him. Yeah, yeah going to the same stage. This but, uh, is what Hockey went to last game. Yeah. So I think Hockey's just kind of taking the advantage of I'm just going to sit under the platform and throw stuff, and it's going to be really hard for Ness to get in. Yeah. Hiding under the platform because kind of creates a ceiling that a third projectile that Link can kind of just hide under. I have to respect that boomerang. It's safe on shield. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh. Getting clipped by the hitbox of Side Magnet. So yeah. Goes for the reflector. He knew the boomerang was coming. Yeah. I I think. Oh, great tricky move with the magnet. Pops him up. Doesn't quite get the back air. What? Yeah. What uh, <laughs> they both missed. Yeah. Uh, hockey kind of low profiled the. Uh, oh, oh, great that combo. combo. I don't know if that's true, but. Definitely scaring scaring Austin with that. Great whiff punish on the neutral air. Yeah. That is like pretty much safe on shield. Oh, oh that's a death. Yeah, he, I'm good pretty sure he on that. jumped into the tail of uh of Yeah, Austin put it, he had to because he couldn't recover from any further away. It's yeah. just really good spacing from Austin. Yeah, that's for sure. Yeah, so you, you, you see hockey's back is to the ledge. Yeah, that's exactly where he wants to be. Oh, man. No that might, that's it. Maybe I should go. No, bomber see, look. Great the, bomber covering. Scoop, scoops him off stage. Because the, the bottom blast zone is super low on this stage. Yeah, so he so has. He has even, even when he was basically about to get. Oh. Oh, miss input side B. Oh, yeah. You hate to see that. But yeah, you're right. He has a lot of time to work with in order to get that bomb recovery out because of how low the bottom blast zone is on the stage. Oh, oh, oh the my snipe! God. Wow. Two great snipes. Gets the arrow on a. Austin's air dodge to ledge, and then gets the boomerang on Austin's uh, yeah, PK, PK Thunder, Thunder. one. He just, he just fell totally helpless. That was wow. beautiful. That was that was insane. That's Doesn't quite get the two frame. He's going to go for it here. But the delay, yeah. not quite enough. No He's jump for bomb. him. Oh. oh. Austin threatening him so much just with his Tricky back to movement, it. movement, that movement. Yeah, but hockey not biting. Wow. What is it called? Boomerang spot dodge showing. Yeah, yeah that I've got that boomerang, that boomerang's plus. Up that projectile plus up close. Yeah, it's a great option. Oh, then air to shield. Yeah, I think that might be the third ledge get up. He's just gonna preemptively go for the bomb. Oh, and he messes missed it. it up when it really counts. He messed. But, uh, yeah, he messed up two bomb recoveries that game. Yeah, but both of those last two stocks, he tried the bomb recovery and ended up dying for it. Yeah. You, know, you hate to see it. You you want to see someone kill someone else. You don't really yeah. want to see someone just kind of. We want to see more fall. of the the boomerang snipes. Not yeah, just, yeah. Not SDs. I yes, mean, let's go to Howard. <laughs> <laughs> yes, please. Let's go to Delfino Plaza. Delfino's actually great though. Delfino's great. Prism Tower is great. Like they're making some great new uh, transformation stages as well. Have you played New Donk City? Another fun stage. Yeah, New Donk City's great. 
Yeah. But uh, unfortunately, they're going to be lamos. Going to pick some of yeah, these smash, non-moving smash stage are, stages. They're cowards. Yeah, they're all cowards. The stage moves. That's too much for me to handle. Yeah, stage isn't level. I don't want it. Oh, spot dodge coming out. That's like something very indicative of Smash Ultimate is spot dodge is just so powerful in this game. Yeah, it's, it, there's only four frames of vulnerability before you connect. Yeah, and moves like have no lag in this game, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so just really that preemptive spot dodge, you're getting a punish. Yeah, and wow. Waits for the boomerang to come back, kind of knowing Austin's mash might not be uh, the best. And Hockey just getting like huge mileage out of these down angled boomerangs. Like, it's a unique move because oh, great up you had a shield. But it's a unique move because it covers like a heat zone that like not many moves do, which is kind of up and forward in front of you. Yeah. And Austin maybe showing that he's not that experienced in dealing with it. Mm -hmm. And it's very awkward because generally, you know, what you normally do with a projectile is you just you know you get in and you go shield it. Yeah, it doesn't work versus boomerang. Yeah, not quite because it's above your head, so you gotta wait for it to come all the way back for it to be irrelevant again. Great but pick under there. Oh, gr great, great air, dodge, air dodge! Yeah, but getting, getting the coverage from Austin, kind of knowing that hockey was trying to get off the ledge real quick. Oh, there he uh, didn't have time to turn around, but he knew the up smash would kill, so he just covered that. Yeah, Re the really good timing. So Austin. While uh, Hockey kind of took the first stock really fast, Austin firing back, mm -hmm. and it's but, nearly even now. But you can you can kind of feel this game's momentum is with Hockey right now. Yeah. PS2 longest legal stage, so it is great for this kind of uh, defensive projectile heavy strategies. And he does have the side platforms to uh, hide under to make it harder to approach. Wow! Just. Rolls on stage and kind of knowing that Austin's trying to ledge trap and just goes for his fastest option and he kills. Oh, the bomb! The bomb coming in clutch, blocking the uh, PK Thunder. And that death, while that probably wouldn't have hit hockey, it would have put his shield into dire straits. I mean, it, it looked like the bomb was definitely a factor there. Oh, yeah, yeah. The, the, the bomb was the, the reason that PK Thunder 2 didn't come out. Back air. Austin's just boxing with him. Oh, goes for PK Thunder too. Oh, that was, oh, great that punish. was a little greedy. Uh, goes for but gets in, gets a back throw. Yeah. All right, Austin on tournament point. Hockey's trying to make this go one more game. Goes for boomerang fair, and that's that's something about it is that uh, you actually need to get the boomerang like super deep like into them. Like if you kind of even if you're not drifting forward, even if you're just standing there, you you won't be yeah, able. Yeah, you to have to get the meaty boomerang. Yeah, exactly. So what a weird phrase to say, meaty boomerang. Like for a non-endemic, someone who doesn't play Smash or Fighting. Yes, yeah, so, yeah, someone just walking in hearing us talk. So yep. They're going to be very confused. But for those watching the action, you, you know exactly what's happening. It's Hockey versus Austin. And Hockey potentially on set stock right now. Oh, goes for the immediate throw, no pummels. He's got him in a bad spot, but Hockey gets out of it. Now Austin's in a bad spot. Yeah. The, the funny thing is, like, Austin in a bad spot is actually just Austin in neutral. I feel like Austin's like advantage play is extremely tight. Oh, just oh great Pat timing. is the regular getup, and Austin is your rushdown, what is this, 19 champion.